Welcome back, everybody. I'm your host, Kelly Sparks, aka Red Beard. So, what is it, boy? I got the final four, not the final four, but the last four of this first bracket, uh, running back through these whiskeys again. All four of these are blends. I know for a fact I've got two Ardbeg blends, a Lafroy 10 blend, and then a Mezcal blend. So, you stink, ah, funny. So, hey, tonight we're gonna be doing the tasting out of these cool little crystal shot glasses that my older sister bought me for my birthday. What are you doing? You wanna wave to everybody? Wave hi. Hi, say hi, Bonnie. So we're gonna drink out of these tonight. Uh, what, what, get, you get off me. I am trying to record whiskey videos. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and go with the outside two. We'll take these two, put them off to the side, and we'll know what those are for the next video. So, oh well, no big deal. Cover up the bottom, pour a little dash. These are about, the box said they are 1.3 ounces. So I'm gonna fill them up, and yeah, a little under halfway. Just enough for a taste. About the same. Uh, see how they work as far as the tastings go. It doesn't quite funnel the uh, the aromas, but this is definitely one of the uh, the scotches. I'm gonna say that's the hard bag. And that's my Tex-Mex, I can tell. So we got Ardbeg versus Tex-Mex, I'm pretty sure. Now, this one, obviously the characteristics of the Tawakaro malted rye have taken over this one. Now this one, you get some of that medicinal peat, but there's a little sweetness to it, so just because I know that's the hard bag, I'm going to take a sip out of this one first. Or I know this one is not scotch. That one that one's turning out to be pretty nice. I might have to experiment with some more mezcal. Cause it's, you get that chocolatey note. It's like, it's like, it's like a, a chocolate covered brisket almost. That one's turning out to be very, very interesting. All right, let's see how this one goes. And these shot glasses, they, they look really nice and big, but they're only an ounce, a little over an ounce, and the, the whiskey hits your lips really quick. That one's really good as well. The the scotch has overpowered everything on this one. I mean, I'm kind of leaning towards the scotch right now. Let's see. Let me let me get another taste over here. It just smells really good. You get that vegetal agave taste from the mezcal, but it's like smoked, smoky caramel with like some heavy malted chocolate. 
and it's just the, the smoke on this one is very faint it's not very it's not very present at all so if we're gonna create a campfire maybe I need to judge it on that criteria Yeah, I'm gonna have to go with this one. You get that medicinal peat smoke. Now I might be wrong. This might be the Lafroy 10, but I'm pretty sure it's the Ardbeg. I mean, odds are it's the Ardbeg, because there's two Ardbegs and a Lafroy. Oh, that's gonna be interesting. Either way, it's gonna be interesting. If this is both Ardbegs or if it's an Ardbeg versus a Lafroy battle. Yeah, I think I'm going to go with this one. I'm going to have to go with the scotch over the mezcal. Although, this is really, really tasty. And I think what I might do for a future giveaway, or at least if any of my patrons are interested, um, if anybody's watching this and you're a patron of mine, uh, and I'll, I'll announce it to them personally, uh, if you want a sample of any of one of these, hey, let me know. I'll... I'll well, We'll, we'll get you one somehow. I know Dean really wants the uh, the Michter's Lager Michter's blend, so we'll see how it goes. But I think I'm gonna have to go with the Scotch on this one. So I know for a fact that this one is my Tex-Mex blend, so it should be letter I, which it is. So letter I. Still. It's pretty damn good, actually. And I'm kind of apprehensive about making that decision, but if we're going to create something that is in the vein of the campfire, this one has less smoke on it. So we want a smokier, smokier product. And this one has just the right amount. So I think it's one of the Ardbegs. I'm not really sure which one. Uh, maybe I didn't do that in my book so we got an L for the Tex-Mex this one is letter G Blanton's Ardbeg and Sazerac Ooh. so that's an interesting one as well so that one has changed it's not near as peaty as it was when it first started out and it's starting to become pretty dang tasty so letter G has a W all right, we only got one that has two L's, and that was that Campfire 16G21. So, uh, this last one's going to be interesting. I think the last one, man, the winner of that one might be the overall. That one, it it might come down to uh, it versus the Mictors Log of Mictors. So, we'll see how it goes. But anyway, that's all I got on this one. Ardbeg, Blanton's, and Sazerac. That's a hell of a freaking, hell of a freaking blend. So, ah, man. All right, that's all I got. Don't forget, uh, if you want to get in on the giveaways, uh, go to patreon.com forward slash Kelly Redbeard Sparks. You can be entered in to get a, a sample of the, what am I giving away? Um, where'd the bottle go? That, right there. Four Roses, single barrel, barrel strength. Goody, goody pick. So, you can win a sample of that. But, you better go in at a higher level, because JP, he's got two draws in now. And then, uh, all of my, actually, five people. Because I gave away six on the last one. I've only got... I've got 20 patrons right now. Five of those six are not going to be able to go into the next drawing. So the odds of you winning a sample this next time have gone up. What? What? You say I'm trying to record whiskey videos. Will you calm down? Come up here. Jesus. Jesus Christo. Been gone all day since like four, so 
She hadn't seen me. Three, three o'clock, three fifteen. You quit licking the table. Hey, what do you think about that? No. What do you think, do you think about this one? Hmm? No, she don't like it. All right. Don't forget to check the description below for uh, links to my tattered beans page. Order some coffee from me. It's really good. Uh, check out the bearded idiots. Don't you do it. What? Alright, that's all I got. Y'all have a good night. Like always, drink some whiskey. Share with your friends and family. Y'all have a good... I can't even... Take care.